Let us rejoice and shout for joy, because the Lord of all things has favored this holy and glorious virgin with his love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, in memory of Blessed Mary of Jesus crucified, Virgin of the Carmelite Order, let us now with all humility acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to and you, you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what, what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God, Father of mercy and all consolation, you raised Blessed Mary, the humble daughter of the Holy Land, to contemplation of the mysteries of your Son, and made her a witness to the love and joy of the Holy Spirit. Grant us through her intercession so to share in the sufferings of Christ that we may rejoice in the revelation of your glory. We ask this to Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony of christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our lord jesus christ he will keep you firm to the end irreproachable on the day of our lord jesus christ god is faithful and by him you were called to fellowship with his son jesus christ our lord the word of the lord thanks be to god i will praise your name forever lord i will praise your name forever lord every day i will bless you and i will praise your name forever and ever Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, 
His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Let us all rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household? to distribute to them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus In today's Gospel, Jesus warns us, Stay awake because you do not know the day when your Master is coming. It is a call to shape up and shake off our complacency and our carefree ways so that we shall not be found unprepared on the day the Lord comes. It is a reminder to prepare diligently for the Lord's coming, for we do not know when. You know, each day we should act as if it will be our last. We never know when we will be called back to the living God. Death comes upon us so suddenly, especially with this pandemic. Jesus is telling us the same thing. When He comes again, it will be sudden, unexpected. So let us be watchful and vigilant at heart. The message this morning is a call to transform the church is a church of transformation. In the church, we transform human beings and make them children of God. We transform in the Eucharist, we transform bread and wine and make them body and blood of Christ. We transform sinners and make them saints 
in the sacrament of reconciliation or confession. We transform despair into hope. We transform the world that is full of sin to a world that is full of God. The invitation for us is to shine or to stand out, to be generous at all times. The disease of the church is mediocrity. When we are satisfied with the minimum, when we are satisfied with a passing remark or passing mark, when we are satisfied with simply going through, that is mediocrity. Mediocrity has no place in our life as Christians, as religious. We must shine and stand out. I do not mean that you must get medals or awards or honors in school or in your work. When I mean shine or stand out, I refer to St. Paul who says, we must outdo one another in love. We must outdo one another in charity. We must excel in charity all the time. For example, if you see your neighbor serving, serve more than him. If you see your neighbor loving, love more than him. We must stand out in charity because as St. John of the Cross said, at the end of our life, we will be judged by love. If you have to get medals or awards, remember that all of this will come to nothing useless unless it is accompanied by excellence in love. You know? If this community is satisfied with the mediocre, fight the mediocrity. Do not be satisfied with mediocrity. Aim high all the time. Be the best that you can be. Do not be satisfied with how you are today. Be better all the time for the glory of God, for the church. Be good examples to one another. Make sure that the goodness you have received from God is transmitted to your neighbor. As you receive blessings from God, be a blessing to others. You have received guidance from other people, like from your parents or teachers. So, you guide and help others. Be humble when you serve. You have received power, empower others. Be better today than yesterday. Be better this year than last year. And be better next year than this year. We must grow all the time, transform all the time. There is no limit to what we can learn. There is no limit to what we can improve. Remember that we are being called to transform all the time because when that day comes, when we refuse to transform, when we refuse to grow, the first victim is not you or me. The first victim is the church. My dear brothers and sisters, we are called to transform and it is only in being transformed that we can enter into communion. Individualism has no place in our life. With God's grace, let us allow ourselves to be transformed so that at the twilight of life, it is no longer ourselves but Jesus, our Lord, shining through us.
our prayers of the faithful. Like the servant in the gospel, we have been entrusted by the Lord with responsibilities in life. May we give a good account of our life and merit the reward of the faithful. And so we pray, Lord, make us your faithful servants. Lord, make us your faithful servants. May the shepherds of the church tend to the flock of God, not lording it over those assigned to them, but by being examples to the flock, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us, us your, your faithful, faithful servants. servants. May high officials remember that they are servants of the people, given the office and responsibility to lead and to provide for them, not to get drunk with power and abuse them, we pray. Lord, make us your faithful servants. May we remember that those who have been given much by the Lord, much is expected of them, we pray. Lord, make us your faithful servants. In life, may we stay awake, fulfilling our responsibility to our family and loved ones, our community and larger society, and not fall asleep in self-indulgence, we pray. Lord, make us your faithful servants. May pandemics and other natural calamities Remind people that life is fragile and uncertain, that death may come any moment to a person who must render an account to the Creator, we pray. Lord, make us your faithful servants. In the silence of our hearts, let us now offer our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, Lord make, make us, us your, your faithful faith. servants. Almighty Father, we have to be awake and to be awakened, the, to awaken the world. Help us to be faithful and prudent servants who care for persons and things you have entrusted to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have deceived this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church.
Lord, receive our worship in memory of Mary the Virgin. By this perfect sacrifice, make us grow in unselfish love of you. And for our brothers and sisters, grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The wise virgin chose the better part for herself, and it shall not be taken away from her. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. Oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you, who died for love of me. Amen.
let us pray. God of mercy, we rejoice that on this feast of Blessed Mary, you give us the bread of heaven. May it bring us pardon for our sins, health of body, your grace in this life, and glory in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.